welcome back. I wasn't planning on doing a second video today or a second painting, but uh, it's a little addictive. I should be writing a blog post, but it's so much more fun to start something new that you're excited about than to finish something that you're not quite as excited about. So here we go. Uh, the method I did earlier was I think called like a flip cup pour, pour I think that's what she called it. Um, there was another method she taught us that was called the puddle pour. So I want to give that a try. I have already put the little thumbtacks in my canvas. Um, I've already poured water into my paint. And now I'm just going to do, if I can count and talk at the same time, um, the silicone oil. I couldn't remember the name of it earlier. I was wanting to do like a sunrise but that's maybe a little ambitious for where I am in this whoops that's a little droopy so I'm just gonna shoot for something that looks like it was inspired by a sunrise I went ahead and skipped the gloves for this round because I'll be taking a bath at some point today who cares so to do a puddle pour it's so simple you just or puddles in your different colors so many puddles and I'm just gonna keep going at the event that I went to to learn how to do this it was just one of those cute little studios where they give you a tutorial and then you just go for it um, they only gave us four colors, so or we were limited to four colors, so that's why I limited myself the first time. But then I thought, I'm doing this on my own. I can use as many colors as I want. I don't have to limit myself to four colors. So that's why I'm going with these five. And so you start, you, once you've poured like your main circles, you pour more paint inside those. And it's totally fine if it gets a little drippy all over the place because we're gonna mix everything together at some point anyways. Ooh, okay. And I need some more orange going on, I think. Let's see. Why not? And more of this. I was having a really hard time with the flip cup method because you have so much paint left over. It just feels, I don't know. It's not that this paint is expensive, but it's not that it's like the cheapest thing in the world. So this method doesn't quite leave as much flowing off, unused, whatever you wanna say. I think I wanna have a little bit more gold going on because it's sunrise. It should be golden and happy. And a little more white because there are clouds in a sunrise, right? Whoops, that was a lot. Okay, here we go. So, oh, a little bit more. There is no right way. It's just fun. Just explore. So this time I'm going to remember to swirl. Swirl it. Woo, okay. And, oh, that's so fun. Okay. So the swirling just, as I'm sure you can figure out, reveals the layers that are underneath. And we tilt it to get it to flow. This is why it's called flow art. All about the flow. To get it to run all over the canvas. And I think I want to swirl. You can swirl at any point in this process. I mean, unless it's like super, super dry, just to create more layers. And let's see, making sure that's covered everything. Okay. And then you can run your finger around the corners just to make sure that everything is covered. And there we go. And I have a handy dandy paper towel so I can just go ahead and turn off the camera. 